our front door to two, unit 2006 at Q1 and it looks nice as soon as you come into this place it's really welcoming and then we zoom around, we'll go around to our little hideaway room which Don is going to open and this is where the boys slept. Here we go. We unveil it. The unveiling. <laughs> there you go. Ta da! There you go. Isn't that neat? You wouldn't think two grown men slept in there last night? And he doesn't snore. Which one? Doesn't Riggles. snore. Riggles doesn't snore. Riggles doesn't snore. There you go. And this is our living area. We specially painted. Okay, we have a model on our couch. Here he is, demonstrating how comfortable it is. <laughs> now, thank God he's not like that all the time. And then, we go around, there's our TV. DVD players, and there's DVDs in the drawers, all equipped. There we go. Paintings on the wall have been specially designed by the previous no, owner. There we go. And this is our kitchen. Oh. What so you can tell everything's nice and white so it looks large and spacious. There we go. All the new modern cons. And all the dishes we washed this morning. Yeah, very homely. Nice. And go around. There's a bedroom sneaking through there. Then we have a dining area once again and all the colours matching through. That's the dining area. And this is our what we call is our winter garden, which is an enclosed balcony, but the windows actually open and the views are sensational. So we will go over and give you a peek of what actually what we can see when we're having breakfast in the morning. Have a look at that. Uninterrupted views. Besides a few buildings, but yep, there's the beach. Isn't that beautiful? There we go. And the concrete towers in uh, Queensland. How beautiful. Got a bright yellow block down there that needs to be seen. Come down, I'll show you the pools that actually belong to Q1, that all belongs to Q1, with the gym area. And as you can see, the beach is only walking distance away, the winter garden. You can see they've thought about every little corner in this place. And there we go, back through, we'll zoom you around. To the bedroom with the views. We have a few cupboards. And there. And here we go. This is the bedroom I slept in. I have my own TV. And oh, here we go. Here's the views. Oops. There we go. Uh, waking up to that in the morning is not bad at all. Here we go. There's our winter garden. background and actually what, what you do see in the morning because you're lying down y yes and Mr. Don Trapman are waving out of our winter garden they can see why the windows don't open any further just in case some fool wants to jump out there we go <laughs> that's what he was yelling at me as I was saying before you actually see this in the morning because you're lying down and that's what you see first. Isn't that beautiful. Not bad on the 20th floor. There you go. Bedroom's nice and neat, spacious. We've got some cupboards in there that go through to the bathroom. Just being used at the moment. So it's not bad. Angle to our dining area and this is the sliding doors that actually close. to seal in some warmth. But there you go. It's 
Isn't that pretty cool? Not bad That's at all. Good, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite good actually. There you go. Why don't you take the camera to the bathroom? Uh, no, because we have um, a gentleman in there having a shower called Paul. Let me take the camera into the bathroom. Okay, well I won't do that. I want to take the camera into the bathroom. Well, I'll handle it. Here we go. We're, we're, now this is our bathroom. We've got pistol resistance, <laughs> Venus de Milo in the male version. And we go to the bathroom and there's Paul. Hi everybody, thank you Trevor. Well, they're having It's actually not a bad kitchen, is it? Show us, the, show us the kitchen, Joe. Give us a, a tour of the kitchen. This is, this is a woman's, this is woman's area. This is the sink. Uh, is it any sink? Any normal sink? No, oh, it's a stainless steel sink. It's a, what is it? It's an incinerator, food waste disposal, and it's just a sink. <laughs> <laughs> this incinerator is very, very handy for getting rid of unwanted pets like budgerigars, hamsters, <laughs> white mice, and rats. <laughs> just in case you find some floating around in the car. And we have lots of drawers. Open the drawers, please, Jane. Yes, we'll open that all. Oh, cutlery supplies. There you go. All our plates and bowls. We have our fridge. We have our leftovers. And there's utensils in just about every drawer, which is great. Look, you will find the holiday. Gas cooking, which is great. We have our little. Range up there, put all the little decorations to make it look pretty. Like I said, every cupboard has something in it. Toasters and kettles. And so it's very well. Dishwasher, uh, dishwasher hidden into our cupboards, which is quite good. So, don't need anything. You don't need to bring a thing. Even a slow cooker. Didn't know that slow cooker. Now we were going to go into the bathroom, but we're obviously otherwise occupied before, so we'll shoot through here. We've got a couple of wardrobes, and they've actually got some games in them. Here we go. Cupboards, once again with vacuum cleaners and stuff to clean up. We've got games, we've got Trivial Pursuit, 3-in-1, Men are from Mars. So yeah, there's a few things here for guests to stay and have a bit of fun with. Oh, the videos too. And yeah, the, oh, I see all the DVDs in the drawer, so it's... Yeah, boogie boards for the beach, for the kids. And there's our bathroom, which Paul has managed to leave quite neat. Yeah, full spa bath, I say. I didn't have a spa bath, I don't think I have one of those. No, well, the thing is, it's a question of time, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, so we've got a spa, shower, the mirror's right down to the ground, actually. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> 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 so, Got a um, the air conditioning cupboard, our linen, our personal linen cupboard there. Yeah. And we go back to the front. Yeah. Front door. And from the front door, looking back into the apartment where Riggles is, packing up, which is a good idea to do since it's now quarter past nine, and we've got to be going very shortly because we've got a four o'clock flight. <laughs> oh, yeah, forgot about that. So much for walking on the beach. <laughs> this artwork, by the way, you see around the walls, that's all original artwork. Um, the previous owner 
She painted all that herself. It's actually really nice. Um, this is that one there. There's this here. And in fact, uh, even the placemats on the dining room table are all hand painted. Yeah. Here we go. Remove the chocolates. Yeah. They're all hand painted by the previous owner. And 2006. Oh, yeah, look at that. And 2006 has the honour of being the first apartment actually occupied in Q1. Oh. Yeah, it was in their magazine to say so. The foyer section of um, Q1. It's not a bad foyer, is it? Uh, we've found that a new teppanyaki restaurant is opening soon in Q1, right outside the front door. So here we are, we're 145 metres, we actually counted it, from Q1 itself onto the sand of the Gold Coast, which is absolutely spectacular. Q1 itself is that little piece there in the middle. And it sort of reaches up a fair way. And we go down again. And we look up the other end of the beach. Uh, into the sun, of course. Back around to Paul and Joe. This is the pool area, or one of the pools, at Q1. It's not a bad looking pool. It's one of one, two, three, four pools in the apartment complex. You gotta throw her in. <laughs> this is your inheritance, kids. I'm expanding it. Ah, <laughs> oh, right, that's a long way up. But you found a window cleaner. Oh, he's got a ledge. See that? He's got a ledge. Hey guys, there's a sack being poor. Sorry, we are poor. It's really poor. It's done from there on the Centrelink office. Run out of money. We need government money. There's Paul and Joe at that pool. And we'll zoom out. We're now at the next pool. There we go. In fact, this is interesting. So we've got the mats over them right now. They're covered up for some reason. But those black areas just there. I'll tell you, this is normally a sand pit, giant sand pit, so it's almost like a beach at the swimming pool. Over here we've got Pretty serious barbecue area with some fabulous barbecues and of course all the all the deck chairs you could possibly want. There we go, back around, back to this pool here. And I do believe there's a couple over there somewhere I can't actually see them. I might just zoom in, let's see if I can find them. They're over here somewhere. I do believe that might be them. Uh, I can't hold the camera still enough for this. Pool number two. When you come around here, we've got 
bar number one. And of course, pool number one up there. This is actually an extension of pool number two, but I suppose you could call it a third pool. Uh, it borders fabulous looking little coffee shop. Just there. We go inside. There's another pool. I can open the doors. <coughs> Try and keep it on that, I think. And there's another pool. This one's a lap pool. Indoor, it's quite warm actually, so it's fairly well heated. Then we go around and there's a second spa. Someone's left it on. Get up here into a games room. I won't take you upstairs, but up those stairs. This is the gymnasium. And there's the entry for lap pool. Now you'll like that, won't you? Not a bad looking place to swim your uh, three kilometres. There's another view of the barbecue. It's not a bad barbecue, that one. There's some tables and chairs around it on both sides. Then we're back to the pool. Then back to uh, Mrs. Bella, Mr. Wrigglehooth waving and I think I see them waving. I can zoom into them. 